hello student in this video i'll give you the solution of question number 7 of exercise 1.2 your question is in each of the following cases state whether the function is 1 1 on 2 or bijective justify your answer there are two parts of the question one is f from r to r defined by fx equal to 3 minus 4x and second one is f from r to r defined by fx equal to 1 plus x square. We will solve 1 by 1. Huh. So in what is your question in this function? f is a function from r to r defined by fx equal to 3 minus 4x. That is an and that is a polynomial function. We have to show it that this is 1 1 on 2 or bijective. Here you see I hope you remember the definition of 1 1 on 2 and bijective function. So what is your 1 1 function? In case of 1 1 function first we have to take an element two elements in the domain and then you have to show it that uh, consider it you have to consider two element in the domain such that their images are equal and you have to show it that their pre images are equal okay for this purpose we have considered here in this r two elements x1 and x2 in the domain r such that their images are equal that is fx1 is equal to fx2 after that we have to use the definition of fx1 and fx2 your fx is 3 minus 4x therefore what is your fx1 3 minus 4x1 okay after that fx2 means what 3 minus 4x2 i have written here then 3 3 will be cancelled out after that what is left minus 4x1 is equal to minus 4x2 then cancelling minus 4x1 minus 4 minus 4 that means dividing by minus 4 on both side we will have what x1 is equal to x2 that gives you f is 1 1 since we have started with this fx1 is equal to fx2 we got here x1 is equal to x2 so your conclusion is what the function is 1 1 after the function is 1 1 we have to show it that this is on 2 so i hope you remember the definition of on 2 for on 2 function what we have to take you have to consider an element say y in the codomain then you have to show it that there is an element x in the domain such that under the rule f f of x that is the image of x is equal to y that is f of x equal to y that is your aim okay so for that purpose first we have to consider uh, y in the codomain i hope you remember how to uh, i asked you to take this uh, y value okay here you see i asked you to take the value of y in this function then just you replace fx by y so i am writing here y is equal to 3 minus 4x this one now this is an equation containing x y and constant your aim is to get the value of x so i bring x to the left side and other to the right side that is 3 minus y this gives you the value of x equal to 3 minus y by 4 now we have to check it whether 3 3 minus y by 4 is a real number or not we have considered already y y where i have to consider y we have considered y in codomain r that means y is a real number so 3 minus real number will be a real number and real number divided by real number will be a real number that means this x is a real number so we have completed one part that is corresponding to each y their existent x. Next step you have to show it that that under that function f f of x is equal to y. And generally this portion this portion will be always uh, true. Your main aim is to show it that this is a the element whatever you get x value that is present in the codomain domain or not that is a very important thing. Le uh, remaining part is simple for us. Hmm. So here you see you have to find out the value of fx. In the place of x what we will put? 3 minus y by 4. So here you see we have substituted x equal to 3 minus y by 4. We put in the definition. Definition is what? That means this is the definition in you see 3 minus 4x. If I put x equal to 1 we get 3 minus 4x1. If I put x equal to 2 3 minus 4x2. So in place of x if I put 3 minus y by 4 you will have here what? 3 minus 4 into 3 minus y by 4 then 4 4 will be cancelled out i skip one step here that means what is left on next step 3 minus within bracket 3 minus y again 3 3 will be cancelled out only y will be left so we have completed our uh, required things that is what corresponding to every y there exists an x such that fx equal to y give the conclusion now here here you see thus for every element y in r there exists an x in r such that fx equal to y and this gives the conclusion that f is on 2 now here you may write down one more step that is what since the function is both 1 1 and on 2 therefore it's a bijective function i hope you understand the solution of this first part let us proceed to the second part your second part of the question is what 
the function is defined from r to r real number to real number it is defined by fx equal to 1 plus x square so again the same thing we have to consider two element in the domain such that their images are equal so i'm considering here x1 x2 belongs to r such that fx1 is equal to fx2 use the definition given definition of fx1 and fx2 fx is defined by 1 plus x square so what is fx1 1 plus x1 square and fx2 is equal to 1 plus x2 square okay after that you just use here cancel out 1 1 cancel out x1 square is equal to x2 square that means here you can bring it to the left side and using a square minus b square formula we can show it that x1 is equal to plus minus x2 that means x1 is not equal to only x2 so here we start with fx1 is equal to fx2 but we arrived x1 is not equal to x2 only that means this is not 1 1 so if not you have to give an example so here you see we are just giving an example i had already asked you to give the example in such a way that their numerical value are same so i am taking 1 if i put 1 1 plus 1 square equal to 2 again by putting x equal to minus 1 here you put 1 plus minus 1 square that is equal to uh, 2 so we have seen if i draw the diagram here f of 1 1 goes to 2 minus 1 also goes to 2 that means two element has the same image right but the elements are different so the conclusion is what f is not 1 1 f is not 1 1 after this you have to check it that this is on 2 or not okay otherwise if it is asked to say on the bijective or not you can give the conclusion that this is not bijective as it is not 1 1 but as here in the question you have to uh, ask to show that on 2 or not so let us proceed for the remaining part again you see for on 2 here you see we have to consider in y right for on 2 we have to take in y y means what this one is equal to y y is equal to 1 plus x square for that after that we have to find out the value of x from that y so here you see this one y is equal to 1 plus x square from x square is equal to y minus 1 x equal to under root y minus 1 now we have to check whether this y minus 1 always a real number or not if i put any positive number that is real number more than two it will be real number if i put zero under root zero it will be negative under root negative is ne negative is what imagine number here i am putting y is equal to minus one hmm. that means for negative negative values we get what y is x equal to under root minus two it is not a real number does not belongs to r because it's an imaginary number okay so what is the conclusion minus one has no pre image hence the function is not on two okay so here we have seen f is neither 1 1 nor on 2 lastly write down the conclusion since f is neither 1 1 nor on 2 therefore f is not bisective i hope you understand the solution okay thank you